Have you ever wondered what would happen if you took the two biggest professional idiots on YouTube and stuck them on the same bike? Well, you probably haven't. But luckily for you, Seth and I, we have. So we made a trip down to Santos Fat Tire Festival to find out just that. All right, so we're about to head out on this tandem. I've certainly never ridden a, a tandem mountain bike. I don't ride tandem. <laughs> One thing's for sure is for any of our subscribers, this has got to look just crazy. Oh my God! <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> well, no, as long as you got it, you're going to huff this ride. <laughs> this is awesome. Are we going to do this? Well, before we get too crazy, it was important that we find out how this thing handled because both Seth and I have never ridden in a tandem before. That sounds fair. Ooh. <laughs> it's like steering a school bus. Dude, do not crash this thing. <laughs> Dude, I would just slow down like, not like you're on an enduro bike, you know? As we discovered, one of the hardest parts about riding a tandem was working together, because both Seth and I have complete different riding styles. I have a background in downhill racing, while Seth, he has a background in riding street. I gotta just, I gotta just remember to lean into the turns that you're leaning into. How was that? That was good. Okay, so okay, so there is a little bit of cooperation that you have to have here. Oh crap, dude, we were gonna make this. <laughs> well, so the good thing is when I, I can't pedal, you can. Right, we got the extra horsepower. All right, oh, let's do this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is ridiculous. We found that section of the trail that would normally be a walk in a park on a trail bike became dramatically more challenging on a tandem. I don't know what that looked like on video, but that was pretty technical for a tandem. Seth, so, do you feel like our relationship is growing? I feel like our relationship <laughs> is growing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Okay. I'm not used to being responsible for somebody else. Cause like I'm a little bit careless. Well, that makes the two of us. So I kind of <laughs> understand your predicament at least. Like I hurt you, I'd feel like eternally guilty. If I hurt myself, I don't feel guilty at all. That's me being a dumb. If I get hurt, it's like it's nobody's fault, but Seth's bike hacks. You know, <laughs> like I have plenty of opportunity. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh god, oh god, that was scary. <laughs> that, that was my fault. Alright, we gotta blast these roots. <laughs> yeah! Oh. I think when we get to a tight squeeze, we gotta just go super slow. And I'll stay balanced. Super slow. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so there's definitely a lot of teamwork going on in this. Yes. After a little while, Seth and I were really starting to get the hang of it. But this was just the beginning of our adventure. Things were about to get a little bit hairy. Uh oh. All right, this is the part of the trail where things start to get really technical. So I'm wondering, like, are we ready for this? Um, All right, wait. Are we? We gotta agree. Are we gonna coast right foot forward or left foot forward? Okay. So when I want to stop pedaling, I always assume it's gonna be right foot forward, and then you kind of do one of them down almost. So in turns, I always drop the outside foot. Oh, you're dropping the outside foot because I do. I kind of keep my feet flat. If it's a berm, it like really banked, yes. Really. I mean, you're you're in charge, so I'm gonna adopt that habit. So if we're doing a left turn, I'm gonna drop my right foot. And if we're doing a right turn, I'm gonna drop my left foot. Correct. Okay, I think we got this. I mean, just to give you guys an idea of what's up ahead here, maybe we should do a third person on this. All right, this would be like nothing on a mountain bike or even a CX bike for that matter. All right. Coast. Coast. Outside. Oh, that was cake. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be tough. All right. Let's talk about our line right now. Well, well, okay. So Phil, think about this for a second. This thing's like a school bus. So are we going to hit the chain rings on there or should we take the outside line and pedal up this way? But then we're turning and we suck at turning. We suck at turning, but it's a not a sharp turn. Do you want, should we test it out first? Dude, we got all the ground clearance we need for I that. Think it has a really high bottom bracket. It does. So all we need to do is we need to get going good, keep up our momentum, keep the spin going. Wait, are we going to hit pedals? Is it going to smack pedals? Maybe go kind of fast with some momentum and hope for the best. <laughs> this is scarier than some of the downhill stuff I do. Oh, nice, man. Hey, can you help us? 
left. We gotta go up this thing on this tandem bike. <laughs> and we gotta film it. Impossible. Can you film it? I'll totally film it. Okay. <laughs> you graded downhill, right? So what's your name? Michael. 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 Alright, so Michael's gonna help us film it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's do this, Phil. I trust you. You need to get a little lower here. Going wide. Oh. 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 This yeah. is a terrible line. Let's do that again and keep right. We got this. Go. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, dude. Ready? Go. <clears throat> Yeah! Got it? Got it? Yes! <laughs> yes, son! Alright, coast. Okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Screw this right here, man. Can you even believe this is in Florida, first well, of Seth all? Well, Seth was giving geology lessons. I was curious just how far we could push our luck. I don't think so. <laughs> you gonna do it on that? If you're doing it, I'm watching. Holy sh <laughs> So what's your idea? There's a pretty metal-ish line into a pretty big goalie-ish thing. I think we got this. What are you talking about, dude? What, li what line are you referring to? The, the middle line. Do you want me to do it solo? All right, no, if we're gonna do it, I'm gonna just get on and trust you. I followed you through worse. All right, if Phil says we can do it, then we can do it. What are we gonna do when we hit the bottom part? This is ridiculous, dude. Can't believe we're doing this right now. All right, I'm ready. All right, this might be the beginning of the end for Seth and okay. I's relationship. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to coast. Are you, you gonna use a, some brakes on this? Yes. Okay. All right. We're gonna coast from right here. Okay. Okay. thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> dude, we're done. We're done. We got, we're pushing our luck so hard right now. <laughs> dude, we got to get back. On the way back, we were able to find a few more ways to push our luck. No way, dude. Wide. We got to go as wide as possible. And Phil's the one that's not as good at skinnies. Oh my <laughs> God, dude. 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 We got it. We got it. <laughs> Stay wide. Yes. No way! Dude! No way! Pretty damn good at skinnies. I mean, that was skinny for this. Earlier in the day, I eyed up the pump track. I wanted to know if the tandem was pump track worthy. I, I understand what I have to do. Oh god. Alright, I can't. It doesn't work on pump tracks. All right. <laughs> no way. Oh man. Yeah, pump as well. How's it going, guys? What's going on? <laughs> so, for our first time on a tandem, I don't think Seth and I did too bad. However, there's definitely a big learning curve that we had to overcome. It's also weird being responsible for somebody else. Usually on a bike, you're only responsible for yourself. Here, I was responsible for the passenger. Now, given our history, I don't know if MTB tandems knew what they were getting into when they lended Seth and I this bike. However, we have never laughed this much and we definitely recommend trying one out for yourself. Now, if you want to see more collaborations between Seth and I, I'll leave a link to a playlist where you can find just that. As always, my name is Phil Metz. Thanks for playing bikes with me today. I'll see you next time.